Good morning all. A first look at the Kaiwitz Smart Digital Multimeter model KM601. Unboxing. Manual. Multimeter in a sort of hard plastic shell. Batteries. In the box, multimeter, probes, and also a thermistor for temperature measurement. It's got a bumper case for protection, so let's get it out of <laughs> that. It's an unusual form factor with the big display, but then who's to say a multimeter has to look like this? Power button, NCV, hmm. Torch for flashlight button, there's a little LED there, and APO, auto power off. Uh, most of the buttons are on the front. These are actual rubberized buttons. They're not just a membrane. And the connections are along the bottom here. So I need to put the batteries in, undo the screw beneath the LED light, it says, and the battery cover should come off. It does. Three AAAs in here. Pause to that end. Flip it round and then pause to that end and it's on so what makes this a smart meter well this it's automatically scanning for volts uh, both dc and ac ohms or continuity you can go manual and then you can switch between the different modes manually like so so using this smart mode, let's first check continuity. Yeah, now there's a relay click when I do that. So it has to change mode um, in order to check continuity. Okay, let's do a voltage measurement. Here's a lithium ion phosphate cell. And that's 3.264 volts. That's very stable. Okay, 3.264 volts. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, yes, ohms. Uh, so a couple of resistors here. Now, unfortunately, oh, actually, there are covers on these. So let's take them off. Oh, yes. They might, now, I was going to say, they don't fit into uh, crocodile clip ends, but I think they will now. Let's get some. Okay, 47 ohm resistor. We're getting a continuity beat, but 46.9, that's pretty good. 680 ohm resistor. No continuity beep. 687.4. I mean, <laughs> there's no way of knowing whether that's an error in the resistor or the meter. Right, let's do a diode. Now I've left it in smart mode and of course it's treating it as a resistor and telling me it's 1.2 ohms. So now I'm going to have to manually switch to the diode mode. And there we are, 0 0.605, which is about right. Let's try a blue LED. And yes, it's handling that. The blue LED is lit up, uh, fairly dim. And so it's giving me a forward voltage of 2.58. Now if you put more current, through a blue LED, of course, you'll get a higher uh, voltage drop. Okay, capacitor, this is 0.47 microfarads or 470 nanofarads. Oh, I will have to switch it to the capacitor range. Interesting. Oh, that's come up. That was really slow, but it has come up. Presumably it has to do a period of measurement, 484. Now I'm not going to be doing any sort of accuracy tests. This is not a sponsored or paid review, but this item was provided to me free of charge. Okay, the next ones are millivolts and uh, hertz, but I'm gonna go straight on to degrees Celsius. Oh, that's interesting. Look, it flashes lights to tell you which sockets to put the probes in. That's pretty smart. Okay, so let's plug them in there. And the temperature is 18 degrees. And yeah, that corresponds to another thermometer, which I've got in here, which says 18.4. Right, the next one is NCV stroke live, which is interesting because that's the thing that said NCV on it. Uh, so here's some mains. Let's see if it detects it. 
Yeah, so that's clearly live. That I presume is neutral. And that's live, so yes, it seems to be detecting uh, live mains. That's handy. Right, let's quickly do some manual stats. Um, so 9999 counts, uh, you can read the rest of this stuff there. Uh, that's some accuracy specifications for DC and AC. This is AC and DC current, and I'm going to come back to current in a moment, and capacitance, diode and continuity. And here the numbers for frequency, duty cycle and temperature. So current measurements, you've got the choice of milliamps and you may have just seen the uh, milliamps and common lights flashing there. Or you can go to amps uh, there then saying put your leads into the 10 amp and common. It's saying lead there and there is a red light on on the top. So I'm going to do a 10 amp current measurement but before I can do that I need to make up a little accessory. So I'm just going to put that to the side for the moment and we can see whether that powers off and I'll start making my little measurement device. So some XT90s, um, I've got some black wire here. The red wire, I'm going to use this fuse holder. Now you can put a fuse in here, but you can just as well, just as easily, put in two of these little spade blade connector things. And I'm going to put some bits of wire on there and uh, connect them into banana plugs. Oh, I didn't check the torch, did I? There it is, flashlight. Nice and simple. So I'm just going to solder positive into one of the XT90s, remembering to put the cap on. Uh, 15 minute timeout on the meter there, so we'll see when that times out. I'm not going to press any buttons in that time. And while I struggle with getting this uh, black wire in there, the Kiwitz has turned off, so the auto power off works. So that's the high current connector XT60 male to female with a fuse and of course you could put a fuse in there but you could also put these in. So I'm just going to make some short leads from these to banana plugs. Now they're both going to be red aren't they? So just making up the banana plug to spade terminal leads. I wanted to get them as short as I could. And uh, let's switch this on, press and hold the on button. And there's my final measuring tool, XT90 in, XT90 out. Can use a fuse if you want, but you can also use it as a current interrupt, intercept. So now I'm out in the shed and I've got my solar panel coming in here. That's intercepted by the Kiwitz uh, on its 10 amp setting yeah amps let's hook up the solar panel positive uh, the sun's gone in just my luck and i should get a current reading uh 1.094 on there and up on my meter up on the wall it's 1.10 so that looks pretty good that was beeping i'm not sure whether it was saying i'm not measuring any current doesn't seem to be beeping now so yeah, that's a, a 10 amp current measurement. That looks pretty good. I'll just check if the sun's going to come out. Yes, it is. There's a hole in the clouds. Um, should get potentially up to 8 amps from that solar panel. 6.1, oh, 6.4, 6.9, 7 amps from the solar panel. So yeah, this is a perfectly good uh, unit for measuring up to 10 amps coming from my solar panel and going into the battery. And uh, using some of these female to female four millimeter connectors, I can use my interceptor to hook up a bulb, which puts a little bit of resistance uh, between the solar panel and the battery if I want to charge it a little bit uh, slower. And uh, here comes the sun, little darling. Yes, this works as uh, a resistor and also an indicator to indicate whether the sun's shining. That will probably go dim again now because I saw another cloud approaching. Yeah, there it goes. 
the sun's gone behind a cloud. So that was a first look at the Kaiweats KM601 Smart Multimeter. Links in the description below. Cheerio.